Okay, we just got done doing our P's three ways on these three different trellises. But I want to try to get a little bit more out of the garden during this late winter planting than just the peas and lettuces and radishes. So, got a few more things we're going to put in the ground here. I've got Ideal Purple Top Milan Turnips uh, from Baker Creek. I've got Early Purple Vienna Kohlrabi from Victory Seeds. And Mammoth Red Rock Cabbage as well from Victory Seeds. And then these were two packets of seeds that were donated to me. I don't believe that they are heirloom uh, varieties. Uh, but I don't have an heirloom variety to use, so I might as well use these for now. It's Detroit Dark Red Beet and White Lisbon Bunching Onion. So if those are heirloom open pollinated, leave me a comment below uh, so that I know that these would be something uh, that I might want to keep around in the future. The onion I'm going to space around the garden. I'm not going to make a row of it. I'm going to try to use it as a companion plant, if you will. But I need to remember to keep your, my onions away from my peas. Those don't agree with each other. Um, and then I'm going to make just little rows out of the turnips, kohlrabi, uh, and cabbage and beets in the same garden plot that we used from the previous year. So let's get started. No accidental plantings. Why not? Because <laughs> then you won't know what you planted. Is it a volunteer planting if you accidentally dump the seeds in the middle of your garden? Alright, so we've got all those in the ground. We put the beets as a front row in front of these trellises. We have the kohlrabi going between our A-frame trellis and the teepee trellis. On the other side of the A-frame we put in the cabbage and then two rows of turnips and the onions have been planted in three different corners. The fourth corner is where the peas are and onion and peas are contrary to each other so we don't want to plant any up here. But when it comes to the onions, I really wasn't too specific with them. I wasn't trying to plant little pretty rows like I was with the cabbage or turnips. I was just trying to uh, spread them out and let them actually just be a bunching onion like they are, rather than trying to put them in a pretty little row. Last year, the only thing that hurt our bunching onion was a flood. We were They were in a low area and the water built up on them and so a lot of them died off. But what survived the flood lasted all the way until the chickens tore them up. So I'm not too worried about putting them in, you know, particularly great soil or uh, babying them in any way. So now we'll just water these in a little bit and that will be it. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.